Hi everybody, I'm Sarah, I'm the Real Simple Mama, and this is Kiddo, and we're going to do a demo for you today of sort of a funny toy. This is going on my review on realsimplemama.com of the weirdest toy that my kids love. And this is a robot. You'll see a lot that are like this one, but this one is ours. It's by Glantop, and it is the Mechanical Commando robot. Number and three. Uh, Oh, number three, excuse me. And this... <laughs> <laughs> and we've had this toy for a while and we absolutely love it. My kids keep coming back to it. We do have some toys that we get that are used or toys that, um, you know, after a while we go and sell to a different place. But this toy has always made the cut because my kids love playing with it. So this toy runs about $25 on Amazon. My kid's tired after school. Um, and there are robots with different um, bodies and different shells essentially. But this is the one that we have. And he shows up as the Glantop robot. Again, on Amazon, this one or ones like it are about $25. And the remote control uses two double A's. The robot himself is USB charged. It takes him about two hours to go from completely dead to completely charged. And then he will either last on standby for about a month or he will give you between two and three hours of gameplay. Blah, 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 blah. Hello, I am the Chemical Commando number three. I can set to order and I can dance. Can stop it? Yeah, so he does different songs and yeah. He does different songs. He can moonwalk because he has independent and I can legs. Do so this robot has a whole bunch of different modes. He has a play mode, he has a dance mode, he has a sing mode. He has a learn English mode where they go through different things like expressions like good morning. Uh, they go through different fruits. It's sort of random. This is an international toy. It's out of China. So it's in some ways for us, honestly, it's pretty comical. Um, the remote, one of the things, come here. One of the things that's crazy is this remote has a lot of buttons. Yeah, and then he gets mad if you don't do anything. Hey, hush. Yeah. So, so what button are you pre what button are you pressing to get him to stop? This button that has a circle right there with a the square. Okay, so move your hand so we can see the remote and show us the remote. So the remote is quite complex. You can move him. You can be up to between three and five meters away from him. So you don't have to be sitting right next to the robot. It will work better on a smoother surface like concrete or wood floors or tile that doesn't have a whole bunch of grout lines. It will also work on really, really short carpet. But of course, it, the robot's going to be working harder and not being able to go quite as fast. And then he gets he gets well, annoyed if you don't yeah he gets annoyed if you don't play with him like why are you so sad so um, he plays Michael Jackson songs and Backstreet Boys songs and I he'll go through a different song. yeah pick your song okay my kids <laughs> they will play with this thing for like an hour. Their favorite mode is the dance mode where he does stuff like this and they moonwalk and they dance around with him. Can you stop it? Yes. So stop this mode and show us the mode where he does all of the different words. Let's review English together. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. welcome. You are welcome. welcome. Sorry. Sorry. Boy. Sorry. Goodbye. 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 And that's it. So okay. So that's one of the stop. That's one of the learn English modes. Now I will tell you there are other variations of the same robot that look almost exactly the same that have more expressive eyes. The casing on the chest, that chest plate piece is a little bit different. Some of them are more intricate. Some of them even have, um, you know, like a simple eye to where you can control the robot by doing gestures like this instead of using a remote. So show us something else. What's something else? Stop it. Okay, have okay. him do one of his songs. This is my favorite. Go to a different mode and now show us how to move the robot. Okay. Want me to say something very cool? Sure. Okay. So, 
this button, mm -hmm. push it, then push some other buttons. Now wait, turn it so we can see. So wait just a second. So you can go through music, you can go through the ABCs, knowledge, the robot language, he makes funny stuff. Okay, hold on, move your hands. And then you can see there's all of the movement. This remote, even though it has batteries in it, um, it is pretty lightweight, it's pretty flat, so it's a lot easier for small kids to hold. I wouldn't recommend this robot for anybody. Oh, yeah. I, know, I, know. I wouldn't recommend this for anybody younger than three, but a three or four year old because it is it is simple and the robot itself feels very durable. Okay, so go ahead and show us some things. You can move them around or you can show us another mode. Okay, so if you push this book thingy, I don't know what it's supposed to be, and go push other buttons. Then push it again, mm -hmm. and this in the auto. Okay, so you can do simple coding with it. So you hit the, let me see, you hit the program button, and then you put in a sequence of moves, and then when you hit program again, he, he goes it. through He goes through the, the actions. Okay, go ahead and show me. Okay, so I'm gonna push this button. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't push it. Okay, so now give him the this, this series of, of commands. Now hit program again. Okay. So when you hit this program, mm -hmm. it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. A couple of just general things from the parents perspective on buying this my kids love this I think initially because Gabriel wasn't completely reading yet so I think a couple of things with commands it was kind of like let's push the button and, and see what it does but the robot is extremely durable I think the charge on it is fine I don't feel like we have to charge it all the time he does have a light if I can see him real quick please he does have a light on the back of him um, this is where you charge him can you go ahead and shut him off for me the, oh, the bigger pushy door, the button is the thing turns off. Um, yeah. Did I hit the right one? Yes, yeah. I did. Okay. This robot is, is big and bulky, but it's not heavy at all. Um, my kids honestly have dropped it a couple times. You can see it's scratched up. We have not had any problems with it at all. So certainly a kind of weird toy, very quirky, very random with all the different songs. Um, you can see for this version, and again, there are lots of similar ones online. It shows you all the different ways that it moves. It gives you a description of everything that happens with the remote, how to change the batteries, all of that stuff. There's the notes that I took, and here are all of the different methods and the different words that they teach. So I don't feel like this robot is going to be like the best thing for kids who are interested in coding. For a kid who is seven or eight years old, this is probably not advanced enough, but if you just want a robot toy for your kids that isn't $100, and you just want something for them that's that's fun, that's durable, that's not expensive, and just something that's gonna make them laugh, um, I think it's awesome. I don't think it's the best, most amazing toy in the world. And again, nobody ever endorses me like we paid full price for this toy. But I mean, my kids honestly got this toy a long time ago, and it has made it through, you know, two moves and three cycles of us going through and kind of narrowing down our toys. They always pick this one and they always want to keep this one. So it's certainly weird. It's certainly unique, but my kids love it. And from a, you know, value perspective, we, you know, the batteries last a really long time and we haven't had any issues with it. So really quickly, the head will not move. You can adjust and pose the arms. He moves a little bit from the shoulders, um, but the arms are just, you can just pose them and leave them. So, so in closing, is there anything you want to say about the robot? Yeah, so it's just a cute little cheap toy that you go tender with. Yeah, and you like it? You still like keeping and, it? And if you use the, the, the length of this, the arms move. Uh -huh. So I guess you're connected. But mm -hmm. I was the one who made this robot, so I'm not supposed to know. <laughs> so is this a toy that you like and you still want to keep, or are you kind of done with it? No, no, no I like it. You still like it? Okay. So you can find us at realsimplemama.com for the article review about, can you say thanks for watching? Thanks for watching.